Okay, for our start today's Retro Hub in Nintendo 64 setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel. Just Jamie, that means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we got a new guide for you today for Retro Hub. So if you're new to Retro Hub, I've got an entire playlist. I've got a few videos in there at this point. So watch the initial setup guide. I'll put a link for that video in the description of this video so you can easily catch up where we are at this point so it's a little series we're doing so today it's the n64 we're going to be adding to this so what we're going to do first is actually download rosalie's mupon gui and the latest release of this was actually released four days ago as i record this video i'm using this for windows and i'm going to download the portable version of rmg or rosalie's mupon gui so just download this and we're of course going to want some games. Now I've got N64 game, Super Mario 64, as we can see this is a .N64 file extension game. Here's Rosalie's Moopin G UI and what I'm going to do with this is firstly go into my Retro Hub folder and we're going to go into emulators just here and I'm going to create a new folder here. So right click new folder and just call this N64. If I go into N64, what I'm going to do is go back into that RMG zip folder and just press Ctrl and A and just copy everything into that new N64 folder I've just created in emulators. Next thing we need to do is add games. So we're going to go into the Retro Web folder again. And again, we need to create a new folder in there. So just right click, go to new folder and simply call this n64 or nintendo 64 will be fine if we go into n64 we can drag and drop our games in here so i'm going to just leave that in there and it looks like the emulator itself is now extracted so if i just close these windows down for now i'm then going to delete that zip folder of rmg and we can open up retro hub Okay, as we can see on the side, we've now got Nintendo 64 added to the ongoing systems list, which I've been covering. N64, here's the game. So, of course, we do need to press escape just here. We need to set this up correctly. If we, first of all, just scrape the artwork for the game. So, just go to scraper. And if I just go just here where it says games to scrape, I'm going to use without metadata. Because at this point, I've downloaded all the artwork in preview videos for the other systems I've covered. So really it's just this game. So without metadata and scrape now. And here we go. So this is now gonna scrape. And here it is. So we're just gonna press finish on this bit. Next up, what we need to do is just drop down the systems and at the top just here where it says 3DO, we're going to find Nintendo 64 or N64, one or the other is going to be here listed. So N64, Nintendo 64, and as we can see, we've now got a photo with the N64 and the logo of Nintendo 64. File extensions accepted, it's .N64.v64. As we know, I've got my Super Mario 64 game in .N64. If we just look below just here, this is all the emulators which are supported by RetroHub. As we know, we're using Rosalys Mupin GUI for this. Cool, so next thing we're going to do is just scroll down a little bit further, go to emulators, and again, right at the top, we're going to find Rosalys Mupin GUI. Here it is, RMG. So if we just select that one, and we also need to go to load where it says path, and of course we need to put the executable of the RMG emulator into place. So I'm going to go to users, and my computer's folder is Jamie, desktop, and I just need to navigate to my retro hub folder, which is where my emulators are. And here's the N64 folder, and if we just scroll down, we're going to find rmg.executable rmg.exe just double left click and everything's now set up so we need to go to save changes and if i press escape and our game's now got artwork and here we go so it's booting directly into roses mupa gui mario 
but what we do need to do is actually set up this emulator so we can do this whilst it's open here so if we just go up to settings and I go down to settings at the bottom there and I'm going to just drop down to automatically switch to full screen on emulation start so when we boot up N64 games we're not going to get a window mode but we should be getting a full screen mode so if I press OK and then just quit out of this emulator if I then go to open up the game again it's me, Mario! Hello! Okay, so as you can see, everything's working fine and it even boots up in full screen. What we do need to do is actually set up a controller for this. I'm using my Xbox controller, which is Bluetooth. So I'm gonna just exit out of Retro Hub for now. So escape, quit, and I'm gonna go to quit Retro Hub. And from here, if we just make our way to the RetroHub Emulators N64 folder, we can then open up rng.exe here. More info, just go to run anyway. Okay, so what we need to do then is map out a controller for this. So we're going to go up to settings, input. And from here, what we're going to do is just go into the middle where it says input device. And I'm going to find my Xbox controller just here. Now I can map out the digital pad. If I just left click on there and press up on my Xbox D-pad. And same for down. Now with the N64, because the controller itself is such a bizarre design, uh, you're going to need to figure out a way which is going to make it more comfortable to play your game. So uh, for analog stick which is obviously in the middle just there, the N64 controller. I'm going to randomly use my left analog stick for this. And we also don't need to be forgetting about the left and right triggers. And your C buttons, which are obviously the yellow buttons just there on the N64 controller. I'm actually going to map this out with the Y button and so on. Now, annoyingly, because I've used all of my main action buttons on my Xbox controller, I've now got B and A. So what I'm going to do with these is actually map these out as my shoulder buttons. So that's life. And we also got the start button to configure. And we got the Z trigger button, which is, of course, located underneath the analog stick of the N64 controller. So just for this setup guide, I'm going to just set the Z trigger as left analog stick click down in other words once i've done with this what i can then do if i wanted to is actually increase or decrease the sensitivity of the analog stick as you can see there's a slide here i'm going to just leave this as 100 percent and we also got a dead zone slide just here too and once i map tap the controller i'm then going to go to ok and we can also play around with video settings if you like so from settings we can go to graphics we got resolution modes just here. If we just drop this down, we can increase the resolution. So I'm going to personally leave this as 640 by 480 for this. Game aspect ratio, it says recommended 4x3 because N64 games were designed at a time when 4x3 was standard. If you put this as 16x9, games are going to look stretched more likely. I'm going to pop this on just to give it a go. I also recommend enabling V-Sync. This takes away screen tear in 3D games. I'm then going to go to anti-aliasing and try fast approximate anti-aliasing. What this is going to do is take away jagged edges. We also got the option here for anastrophic filtering. So that's going to clean up textures. And as you know, N64 games textures are pretty bad traditionally. So you can play around with this just here. Just remember that if you've got a lower end computer you're running Retro Hub on, then it might become laggy if you increase this a lot. So I'm going to do it four times here. And next up, if I go to emulation, we got various different options just here to help us make games look better. We got texture enhancement here. So there's many features you can use here to make video settings look better or to your preference. Just remember to save and close. Now, if I go back into Retro Hub, and if I then boot up Super Mario 64 again, <laughs> and 
And that's it for today's Retro Hub and Nintendo 64 setup guide. So like I said, if you open up the RMG emulator outside of Retro Hub, you can do a lot of settings there, such as video settings. You can really make N64 games look a bit more modern than how they look traditionally. Anyways, if you're new to Retro Hub, do check out my Retro Hub playlist. I've covered a lot of systems at this point, such as PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, Nintendo Wii and I've covered a couple more so it's a series I'm going to keep up and I'm going to try and release another one of these in less than 24 hours time anyways if you like what you see say hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss our upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media I'm on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok but until next time stay retro